Have you wondered how humans are able to control a nuclear reaction? In previous video, we explained how nuclear fission creates massive amounts of energy by splitting uranium nuclei and triggering chain reactions. So today we look at how this process is controlled so that nuclear power plants don't just explode like bombs. The first part of the system includes control rods. These rods are able to absorb neutrons, and since neutrons are what sustain the nuclear fission, the rods can be lowered into the reactor to slow down the reaction or lifted up to speed up the reaction. Next up, substances like water, heavy water, and graphite may be used to slow down the neutrons in the system, further slowing reactions. We also have the coolant system. It's like the plant's AC, keeping everything nice and cool and preventing overheating. And there's also a reactor containment system. Think of it like a super strong sealed box that keeps radiation from escaping with thick layers of concrete and steel as well as high pressure. Plus, there are additional features like emergency core cooling system, which injects special coolants in emergencies to prevent meltdowns, and negative feedback mechanisms where the fission reaction can automatically slow down when the temperature is too high. So next time someone mentions nuclear power generation, you'll know it may not be as dangerous as you think.